guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have three pumpkin dessert recipes that are not pumpkin pie. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome. Come on in, make yourselves comfortable. I do a lot of cooking over here on this channel, so if you like easy recipes, budget-friendly recipes, um, I don't know, grocery hauls, things like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is fall. Do I have my tiny pumpkins out? Yes, I do. So two out of three of these recipes do not even require an oven, so I know that makes it really accessible. So even if you're out there watching from a dorm room, which, I don't know, are there any of you? Leave me a comment down below. Are people that young watching this channel? Maybe they are. But anyway, whatever circumstance you find yourself in, two of these recipes do not require an oven, which I think is great. And with that, let's get going on the first recipe, the one my children have been begging me to make. They're out in the living room being really quiet because I told them if they let me film this intro that I would make the pumpkin fluff for them. So let's do it. Pumpkin fluff, recipe number one. All right, so you only need four ingredients. We're gonna start with a can of pumpkin. We also have um, some instant uh, vanilla pudding mix. We have some pumpkin pie spice and a tub of whipped topping. Uh, it is worth noting that you could select a sugar-free whipped topping and a sugar-free vanilla. So if you're someone maybe who's diabetic or you're trying to watch your sugar intake or for whatever reason that you're watching that, you can make this a sugar-free dessert, which I think is great. What I also love about this recipe is that it's hardly a recipe. Um, you just combine everything. Like, there's hardly any measuring involved. You use the entire tub of your whipped topping, which you could use Cool Whip, but I'm an Aldi girl, so obviously I use the Friendly Farms. To this, I'm adding the entire packet of pudding mix. This is a um, 3.4 ounce, just like standard box. And the only thing you have to measure is the pumpkin pie spice. I mean, you could just measure it with your heart, I guess, uh, but I'm putting in a teaspoon. And to that, we're gonna add the entire 15 ounce can of pumpkin. And this is just pure pumpkin. It's not like pumpkin pie filling. It's just regular old pumpkin, which is also a vegetable. So this dessert does count as a veggie. Get some, get some fiber in there. And now I'm just mixing it all together. All right, that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this in the refrigerator for about an hour. All right, you guys, it's actually been like two hours, uh, but our fluff is nice and firm. So now we're gonna eat it. Um, I've seen this sort of like prepared a lot of different ways. Some people put like whipped cream on the top with a sprinkle of cinnamon. However, I want to turn this into like a dip sort of situation. Uh, and I saw people using graham crackers to dip in, so delicious. However, in my house right now, we have this absolutely huge box of Scooby Snacks. And I thought even better in the shape of bones. So Halloween, right? So there's chocolate, or at least are the chocolate ones, chocolate Scooby Snacks and cinnamon Scooby Snacks. And to serve, I'm gonna put our fluff in this tiny little pumpkin. I also think serving this with like some apple slices would be really good. Uh, maybe some like pretzel rods, that would be tasty as well. Stick a little bone in there. Oh my gosh, come on. Is that not the cutest thing ever? You ready? Oh my god. Oh so, my god, wow. <laughs> no, <was> Stop. <laughs> you can just dunk it in there. Is it so good? Yeah. I think Patty wants some. Why do you think so much? All right, you guys, it is the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and make our second recipe. I'm gonna do it just in time for the boys to get home from school so that they can have it as their afternoon snack. This is another no-bake recipe. We are making pumpkin spice no-bake cookies. So like our last recipe, there is not very many ingredients in this one. Uh, which I think is great, makes it a lot easier. Uh, first of all, we've got oats. We also have some white chocolate baking chips, stick of butter, pumpkin spice, obviously, pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin, and brown sugar. 
And that's it. You probably have most of these things already. All right, so the first instruction is a little bit weird. We are going to squeeze the pumpkin puree to get uh, some of the liquid out of it, which I know it's weird, it's weird. We need two thirds of a cup of pumpkin puree. This is not pumpkin pie filling, it's pumpkin puree, again. And I'm going to just put it on this paper towel. Could you use cheesecloth? Yes. Do I have cheesecloth? No. All right, I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze. Honestly, I'm surprised that there is so much liquid in this. Oh my gosh, it's working. Look at that. I'm so crafty. I'm gonna toss my pumpkin in there. I've got it on like medium high. We're also going to put our entire stick of butter, which is a half a cup. Salted, of course, because I'm not a monster. Next, we're going to do a cup and a half of brown sugar, which is a lot, but that's okay. It's about to be good. We've got half a cup of our white chocolate chips. I suppose you could also use maybe butterscotch ones would be good too. Um, or like caramel chips, I don't know. I think the white is a nice like blank layer, I would say. And then we're going to do one teaspoon, uh, we're gonna say a heaping teaspoon of our pumpkin pie spice. All right, now obviously we need all of this stuff to melt, but we need to get it up to a simmer. So just let it do its thing. All right, we're starting to get a few little bubbles. Once this really starts to simmer, we're gonna go ahead and set a timer for six minutes. And remember, you're gonna wanna stir it because you do not want this to burn to the bottom of your pan. All right, after six minutes, this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add four cups of oats. And be careful guys, this is really hot. Now you could use a spoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my little scoop here. And put them on some parchment paper. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge for about an hour. Um, they might not actually take a whole hour to cool down in the fridge, uh, but that's about the amount of time it's gonna take for me to go grab the kids, get them back home, just in time to give them a try. They smell really good, and I can't wait. All right, you guys. Mmm. They smell good. Do you want one? Yes. No, it's not. I'm getting that. Mmm. Who do they taste like? Pumpkin. Mm. Pumpkin spice. Uh, no way. That's what it does. Do you like it? Yes. They're so good, right? Yeah. Pretty good. I love a no-bake. These are no-bake cookies. Wow. I didn't have to bake them in the oven. I don't really like them. You don't like it? Too much. Mm. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's good, but I wouldn't <laughs> say it's bad. You're not really an oat guy, are you? No. Uh, That's okay. I really like them. I think Daddy will like them too. He likes a no bake. Okay. Wow, they're so good. You have to take your socks off? Yeah. You have Riz? Yeah. I have 25 aura points. Okay. I just got 10,000 Riz points. I don't know what a Riz point is. Okay. You level, Thank you. You have a level what do you mean? 10 yeah. Thank you, children. That is all that will be required of you for this segment. You have a level Bye. 10 yacht. All right, you guys. It's time for our third and final recipe. We are making pumpkin blondies. Um, now, the blondie part of a blondie, which, I don't know, it's like butter scotch, maybe? That's not in this. It's actually like a pumpkin brownie, but it's not brown. You know what I mean. It's the texture of a brownie, but it's pumpkin. And as far as our ingredients go, we're going to need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We also have one cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, two sticks of butter, one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, also one egg, but if you follow me, you know that we raise quail, so in our house, 
we use quail eggs. So I'm gonna use four quail eggs, but that equals one chicken egg. We are also going to need two tablespoons of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, a dash of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Also chocolate chips, but these are optional. All right, first I'm going to combine the dry ingredients. So we're gonna throw the flour in there. We're also gonna put our pumpkin pie spice in. I love that it's a whole tablespoon. So it's gonna be nice and spiced. Love it. I'm gonna throw in like half a teaspoon of salt. I'm also using salted butter and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Now we're gonna set that aside. Next, I'm going to cream my butter. This is room temperature. And we're using two sticks or one cup. Now we're going to add both types of our sugar. We're gonna put it, there it is. Next, I'm going to add the eggs, which I'm gonna do in this separate bowl first, just so that no tiny shells get in there. I'm also gonna add the pumpkin puree and our vanilla extract. It looks like I'm gonna need some more vanilla here pretty soon. If you didn't know, I make my own. I will leave a tutorial on how to do that down below if you wanna see how I make it. Now in a couple of sort of sections, I'm going to add our dry ingredients to the wet. Now we're going to add the chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, why didn't I wear an apron, Claire? I would say like a cup and a half probably. This is a really large recipe. This is gonna fit in a nine by 13 pan. You know what, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just put them all in there. All right, I have a nine by 13 stone here that I am going to very liberally grease. And then we're gonna put our batter in here. It's really, really thick. All right, these are about as smooth as they're gonna get. I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven. We're gonna start at about 40 minutes. Um, that should be good, but we'll give them a check. They can take up to 45 minutes. Oh my God, it's like really heavy. All right, it has been 40 minutes and ooh, she's looking quite toasty. I, I think it's done. It looks more like a cake than like brownies, but I'm hopeful. All right, I have let these cool all the way. They definitely don't have the signature kind of like crackly top that a brownie does. But again, it's a pumpkin blondie, so it's okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so while it doesn't have the crinkle on top, it definitely has more of the fudgy style inside and not like fluffy like a cake. I think the boys definitely want to have a little, little nighttime treat. You want one? Yes. Okay, come over here. I feel like I have to bend down in order to be in the frame with you. Are you gonna eat it? It's big. <laughs> that is so good. Is it? Is it better than a regular brownie? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, the little one's ready. The little guys are ready. You still have pumpkin fluff on your face. We had the pumpkin fluff from the other day as our snack today. Here. Okay, just be normal for a second. Alien man, he's such a cat. Is it good? Nice. All right. These are good. These are really good. I would not skip the chocolate chips if you make these yourself. But I also think adding walnuts or pecans would also make it even more fall-y, if you know what I mean. All right, you guys, and with that, those are the three non-pumpkin pie pumpkin dessert recipes. I hope you enjoyed them. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite pumpkin thing that's not pumpkin pie that has actual pumpkin in it, not just pumpkin flavored something. What's your favorite thing that contains pumpkin? <laughs> I would love to know. Let me know down below. And of course, 
stay tuned for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!